You are now checked in to Stand Up New York Labs. Oh, yeah. Today's sponsor is Audible.com, a leading provider of spoken audio entertainment and information. Listen to audiobooks whenever and wherever you want. Get a free book when you sign up for a 30-day free trial at audiblepodcast.com backslash Tuesdays with stories. Hey, Mark, fake banter for the intro. That's all I know how to do. Great. Good to be here. Welcome to Tuesdays with stories. Hit her in the face with a surfboard. And then the duck fell out of his bag. <laughs> Surf's up. And she didn't even flush. Knock, knock. Who's there? Mark Norman and Joe List. Yeah! This is Tuesdays with Stories, everybody. No, that's terrible. This is supposed to be cheesy. My radio is spitting at me. And I can't choose what I want to say. This censorship will take us to hell. Hey, all right. Good to be back here. Tuesdays with Stories. I'm Mark Norman. And I am Joe List. <laughs> hey, teamwork makes the dream work here at Tuesdays with Stories. Mark, what the hell was that all about? Tell them. Uh, well, Joe just did our first live read. Holy hell, and boy, was it awkward. We're very corporate now, everybody. Yeah, we're trying to make a little little clams here. <laughs> we are broke. Some dough, some loot, some scratch, some clams, some macaroons, some onions. Yeah. Any uh, euphemisms for uh, uh, no, money? No, you know what? I think this is, uh, this is a very uh, inside podcast where you guys tell the listeners everything. Just tell them how much you're making for that. It's, it's really interesting to me. Oh, we have uh, no idea. We don't know. They have no idea. <laughs> That's just... where they are, guys. Hopefully we crack $30. They We're... don't care about the money. They just want to be corporate. Yeah. We're, just... <laughs> We're all wearing suits right We're now. We're big fans of Audible.com. They're great over there. And uh, there's four guys in suits sitting on the couch staring at us right now. I mean, yeah. And they're white and they look rich. Uh-huh, so I lo- we're scared. I love an audio book. Go to audiblepodcast.com slash Tuesdays with Stories, hey, everybody. We have, to say, it, we have to say it 150 times, so we hope you enjoy this. Yes. Uh, uh, we should tell the story about how we got here to audiblebooks.com. Oh, boy. Mark was reading recently, and uh, a woman came up and put two cigarettes out in each eye. Uh-huh. That's four cigarettes in total. Right. So now he has to listen to audiblebooks.com. Yeah. Backslash. Tuesdays with Stories. And Matt, is our, our, our company also said we need to have bigger guests. Uh, last week we had uh, Mike Drucker. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Drucker is great. We appreciate oh, the boy. positive feedback. Oh, Drucker. Um, People are coming to your house to kill you. Uh, but our guest today, boy, this is how excited are you, Mark? Oh, Scale man. Scale of 1 to 10. I'm pretty excited. I got to tell you, Jonagan, you got me my first manager. Wow, is that so? That's a true story. Well, I didn't even finish the intro yet. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> this man has made 1,100 appearances on The Late Show with David Letterman. He's got his second Comedy Central half hour. Woo! Boy, we don't usually do credits on this show, so now I feel oh, weird because wow. you're going to make a face and I'm not going to name all of them. He's been on Conan. No, 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 I don't, no, you don't have to. Oh, boy. Are you mad at me? No, no. Oh, jeez. Anyways, one of, the best, me too well. one of the best comics in the world and a, and a dear friend of uh, both of ours, more me, let's be honest, but yeah. uh, Tommy... Jerome Jonagan in the house. Mm. Woo! Not a lot of people know uh, <laughs> my middle name. Well, Tommy was named after an uh, African-American man. Yes. Now four more people know your middle name. Uh, <laughs> we have more listeners it's than Lee. that. Ah, joking. Is it Lee? It is Lee. Oh, oh Tommy Lee. Lee. Tommy Lee. Oh, wow. Tommy Lee Joe. Again. S- Jen- Jones again. Jones again. You got to get real deep into my last name before I pop up on Google first. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, well, well, audible.com. Let's yeah. hear more about this manager. Oh, yeah. So uh, I was a young, scrappy lad, maybe 25 at the time. We were I was opening for you at Helium Comedy mm-hmm. Club in Philadelphia, the city of brotherly mm-hmm. love. Really? And, uh, yeah, I was. I did the Philly's Funniest Contest. I did pretty well, so they let me feature. Luckily, it was with you. I was super intimidated. I was terrified. I had never done a, a feature set in my life. I lied and said I had a half hour. I had about 20 minutes. And uh, yeah, and you were kind enough, and you we we chatted. I after. thought you did great. Thank you. Thank I remember you. that means a lot. And yeah, and you said I know this guy Bjorn. I'll hook you up. 
Oh. And that was it. Yikes. He had just come to the company that I was with, I believe. Right. Yeah. I was with the same manager. Right. Which is also later strange. On. Yeah, interesting. I remember I met you with Bjorn, uh, Mark. That's right. And he told you that that N-word, L-word joke was never going to be on TV. Yeah, he's it probably was, right. It's a weird thing. I bet you could get it on TV. Yeah, it's one of my uh, better do, jokes. You can do it on the podcast. Do you want to tell us? All right, black listeners, turn off your radio. Uh, <laughs> that's the bit. No. Uh, so, yeah, I'll just give you the quick version. Did a show upstate, got lost immediately. I uh, asked for uh, directions. Uh, this girl in the corner, hot black girl, beautiful black chick. I asked her for directions. We're flirting right there on the corner. We're, like, kind of falling for each other. I get her number and everything. Right when I'm having all these feelings, this guy drives by in a truck and just yells out his words, nigger lover. I'm like, Jesus Christ, man. You know, I just met this girl, and you're going to use the L word already? <laughs> Come on. Slow down. That's a classic. Ah, classic I love bit. it. Classic Thanks. Norman. Thanks, but I like it. Well, we'll see how Letterman takes it. <laughs> but that's one of those things, that, and I'm not going to shit on Bjorn. It was a great manager for both of us. Ah. But uh, it's one of those things where sometimes I, th- I feel like managers, they just want to be able to tell you something like they're telling you information. Right. So he's like, by the way, that joke is never going to be on TV. And you're like, we weren't even talking about it. Right. It's just like they feel like they have to give yeah, you some yeah. sort of information. I don't, I don't know. Um, I, I, I think it's, a, it's not even going out on a limb as a manager to uh, say a joke that has that word in it. <laughs> it yeah. I'll give you it's not going to be on network television. <laughs> right, right, right. Here's your uh, commission. Thanks for the hard work. Yeah, exactly. Right. But that pure. could be you could do when you do your HBO special. You do a you yeah. do a Comedy Central special. They'll bleep it. Or, right. or Netflix. Yeah. Isn't that's that a true. thing Netflix. that people do? I don't know yeah, yeah. anything. But you can certainly do it on our podcast. Our hit podcast brought to you by I thought uh, when I was a kid, I thought brought to you was a word brock. To you, it was one word. Brock, Brock oh, to you, Brock and I always, you. I always ask my mother, "What does Brock to you mean?" And then she couldn't put it together, so she'd be like, "That's not a word." And I was like, "Well, it's definitely a word. They say it on TV every day." And she's like, "It's not a word." Oh, that's funny because I used to think viewer discretion is advised was like one word. Discretion oh, wow. is advised. Just thought that was a word. Wow, similar oh. to my. Uh, I don't think I've ever told on this podcast your favorite. Uh, when I was doing a show, and the woman asked my name, the host. It wasn't a woman; it was a guy. He said, uh, "What was your what's your last name?" And I said, "My name is Joe List L I S T." And then he brought me up as, "Ladies and gentlemen, Joe List I L S D." I love uh, it. I, I often say that. He thought I was a Latino comic. Joe List I L S D. Yeah. Well, we got we got so much to get into. Uh, Tommy Do Jernigan, we, you're a I good like guy. What we're doing right now. You got you're, you got so many stories. Uh, I I just want to, and you're going to hate me for this. I want to get I right will, into. I it. am going to hate you. I just want to get right into it. Uh, it's my favorite story ever, Woo. and I say some people might say, "What are you, you going to open with the big favorite story ever?" But I, I have confidence in us as three comedic geniuses. Yes. we can follow it. I wish we didn't. You told us at the cell you were holding court at the cell. No, court Joe, I was last forced night. court. Joe made <laughs> me forced court. Well, Do it. It's democracy. That's what it is. We voted. I voted. Uh, so what? I ha- just tell it now. That's what we do. <laughs> <laughs> so I love it. This is gonna. This is this story is gonna no, go well, not. and it's no, gonna it's branch not. into a million stories. Right. Yeah. Audible dot com is never gonna have more business. Let's branch. We'll shut down Audible dot com like John Oliver shut down the FCC Ooh. comment section. Mm. Uh. Topical. Um. So I'm driving. Uh, outside of Boston somewhere. It's like a one of those, the interstate where it's four lanes in each direction. Right. Oh, yeah. And uh, very late-ish at night, so I'm going I'm going one direction. Some would say north or south or east or west. I don't know those. <laughs> no. So I just, I'm going a direction. There's a car was, coming the opposite. I bet it was the Massachusetts Turnpike. You were probably you going, east. going east. Yeah. So this car's going, I'm going, I'm traveling east. This car's traveling west. Right. Up ahead, I see the headlights of an SUV all of a sudden jerk to the left and then jerk to the right, and there's over one of those concrete embankments, and then all of a sudden it just starts flipping wow. wildly down the interstate. Holy a four-lane interstate. It's across the thing, flipping, 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 comes to rest upside down. Uh huh. I'm the only one around. I yank my rental car off uh, the interstate, run across four lanes, wow. hop over the concrete embankment. The car's upside down. There's flames coming from what? under the engine. I swear to Holy God. Holy moly. And I, there's people inside and I get on the ground and I crawl in the back 
window of the SUV, which is upside down. I crawl through broken glass. Yeah, yeah. And I'm not even thinking. I'm just reacting at this point. Wow. Unbelievable. Hero. You're There's Batman. people in the car. I'm st- <laughs> <laughs> and I uh, get in the car, smoke flames, and I reach my hand out to a guy. He's Everyone's upside down because the car's upside down. And I go, grab my hand! I yelled <laughs> it. Yeah. I yelled it, grab my hand. He looked at me. And then crawled past me out of the back of the car. He crawled past me. And then everyone else that was in the car rolled out the side windows. That's unbelievable. (laughs) So I'm trying to be a hero. Yeah. And I end up being the last guy out of the car. (laughs) Everyone else is bleeding. I come out. I'm unscathed. Some guy runs up to me and he goes, are you all right? And then he looks at me and realizes I'm uh, a superhero or right. something. Yeah. You are a superhero. That's you, you amazing. You could have been the greatest. I wanted to save their lives. And to be honest, I didn't even care if I saved their lives. If they had died, but I had dragged him out of the car, right. yeah. I would have gotten the same right. feeling from it. Now, wh- what time, wh- how long ago was this? What point in your career? 2008. I was you had already been on college. TV. I was doing a college. I had done Letterman and a half hour. Uh, yeah, it was around the Letterman wow. half hour special time. That's amazing. I mean, you would have been the biggest star yes. in history. I may have gotten on the couch. You would have oh, been. Yeah. You would have been a lead guest. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, that would have been a totally different uh, a career trajectory. You're going to still get to the same places, but you would have been overnight. Success- you would have been a hero. Oh yeah, headline. Been, yeah, the social media wasn't as big, but I think it, it could have gotten some steam. Comedian saves lives. Oh, right, yeah. right. Unbelievable. Now, also, grab my hand. That's what he should have said. In the re- in the way it should have gone, if this dick didn't d- crawl out, yeah, you know, piece of shit. I was gonna gr- I was gonna drag you out. You just sit there. If he didn't do that, in the real story, in the newspaper, he would have said, "I through the smoke, I just hear." Grab my hand. Yeah. And then I see a hand. Right. He thinks it's an angel. It, it's his, right. Was it your mic hand as well? It was my off hand. I'm oh, not going to okay. hand him my mic well, hand. Yeah. I mean, I'm still <laughs> self preservation here. Get a make mic a living. In his hand. But, uh, just real quick, I want to uh, d- d- uh, digress. We do this. Do you, do you have one mic hand or do you go back and forth, Mark? I go back and forth. You go back and forth a little bit. I go back and forth a little bit. You predominantly so. left hand, but yeah. I go back and forth a little bit. Right, right. I take it out with the right and I kind of mix I'm, I hold match. it with the, I like, I, I hold the mic stand a little bit. People, uh, I don't think people like to do that, but uh, I put my hand on it. Yeah, me too. And also, it could have gone the other way. That car could have exploded while you were in it, yeah, yeah. making it very confusing for investigators. Yeah. If they ah. just found your bones. And, and what also, Everyone else had rolled out, I'm in the car, then it blows up. Right. I just picture them being like, now who is this guy? And they're like, no other guy. There was no other guy. And you're like, now there's a guy right here. And they're like, now there's no guy. He wasn't in there. Then they could have been found for murder. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You must have murdered Tommy John again. Can I say, were they, do they speak English? Yeah, yeah. Oh, white, okay. white I kids. picture them Latin. White kids. I picture them Latino this whole so time. So did I. I think because there's a really? group. Really? Yeah. There's a group in a vehicle you picture Latino. Oh, Our producer really? over here did too yeah. as well. Huh. Why were we picturing, t- I pictured sombreros and, yeah. and, and togas. Mariachi. Who wears a toga? I, I, a Greek. Ah. Uh, I don't know anal. why. I don't know why. I wonder, I don't know. I'm trying to figure out what. Because there were I, five of I them? I think there's a bunch of them. You think yeah, black yeah. people are kind, you think Latino, I bunch think. A bunch of them. Yeah, also, yeah. No offense to our uh, Latino fans. Whenever I've said, take my hand, Latinos just walk right by me. <laughs> yeah, it's also a thing. <laughs> yeah. I love the rolling out the wind. Everything about that I think is unbelievable. And uh, I think that you're a heroic guy. I tried. Oh. But then also, once the adrenaline went away, uh, I immediately went back to my selfish self where I was just trying not to, I was trying not to get their blood on my pants. Right. <laughs> yeah, that was Seconds be... earlier I'm crawling into a burning car over broken glass ready to drag them out right. to save them. Then standing up don't bleed on me is what I'm thinking. Right. Well, the scenario has changed. And, yeah, yeah. And then one of my favorite parts after that, what do you now that now the first responders are so showing up? Now there's no actual ambulances or fire trucks or police, but there is a woman in scrubs. She's the hero now. She's, uh, she's run up. She's bandaging with uh, the, some you know, legs wow. bleeding. We gotta get There's her on a the guy show. bleeding, standing up, bleeding out of his leg. It's a stream of blood so steady, and the blood is so dark. If it were in a movie, I would think it was fake blood. Right. Wow. And then it starts just shooting out as his heart beats. Uh, it's just shoot, amazing. Shoot. And then the woman goes, lie him down. Elevate his foot. And... I don't know what's going on with me. I just turned to him, who's bleeding like that, and I said, she wants you to lie down, because I knew I, I want to touch him. Yeah, yeah. So someone over comes over and lies down, and now there's a crowd of people, and I realize I'm the first person to see it. I saw the whole accident. I crawled into the car, but there's so many people there, and I have no interest in this anymore, and I just <laughs> jump over the embankment and run back across the interstate and get into my car and drive away. That's my favorite part, is just sneaking away from a sneaking car accident away. that... And again, just the way life 
goes. He could have been a hero, could have died. Instead, what happens is you're just going to like drive into my uh, back over. you know crappy hotel and outside of Massachusetts or outside of Boston. And how soon before you told that story? I mean, were you just would you dying to tell somebody the story? Or did yeah, yeah, I told. Pass? I was with my ex girlfriend at the time. Ooh, I so get I into called her. her on the drive. I was like, you're never going to believe this. Right. Yeah. Because that's one of those stories. I really <laughs> wanted the hero moment. <laughs> I've, I have a fantasy about saving someone's oh, life. Oh, me too. Right. Me too. But the fa- you know, and it, like I said, it doesn't matter if they survive. Just me dragging them out of the right, lake. Right, right. If they die, I don't know them. It's not really going to upset me. Right. I just want to be a hero. And then they play this, they bring you a cake and they play, and a hero comes along. Yeah. And I'm they the guy with the movie. Yeah. The, with the shoes in the plane. They have to find me. Oh, the, I remember the movie. Have a, Dustin Hoffman. Yep, yep, yep. Spoiler uh, alert. <laughs> what <laughs> What was I, I going to ask? I had a question. Hero, ex-girlfriend. I was excited. Well, Justin I want to well, talk about the ex, too. And mm, Damn it. I had something about the car. I'm the such truck. a nut. I, I feel like remember. if somebody came in my car and said, give me your hand, even if it was out of the way, I would just do it. Because I feel like yeah, you, you came in guilty. the car. Yeah. Yeah. I think, and also, uh, I feel like he's days. He should have grabbed it in the sense of like I don't know yeah. what's going on and right. discombobulate. But that, that's one of those stories. I'm not going to drag you into a worse car accident. <laughs> <laughs> like just take my hand. <laughs> exactly. Um, if if it was a different person, tell me I wouldn't believe it because oh. I know you so well as as a, as a, a truthful man. That story is literally not believable. No, oh, it's it happened. It's insane. Yeah, I also wonder what made the guy jerk the wheel like that. It was a gal driving. Oh, well, ah, that's enough it. Enough said. Enough smaller said. brain syndrome. There you go. I, mm-hmm. <laughs> I did hear her. She's she's uh, pacing in the uh, f- across the interstate. She's in shock. Oh boy! Wow! And she's just yelling. I looked at the radio and and I didn't even. I looked back and I looked. Wow. So she looked down at the radio. Wow! Looked back up. Boom! Wow. I bet flipping I bet, SUV. Jesus. I bet she was listening to David Allen Boucher. You ever listen to that guy? No. I bet he calls his accents. You know David Allen Boucher. This is David Allen Boucher. Oh, oh think that he guy. made her pass out? I think yeah. I think she was probably like I, she was probably nodding off. Maybe tried to change it to kiss one wait. Uh huh. Lost it. So many things could have happened. I mean, also if if it wasn't the guy, like what if it was it there, uh, there's a couple girls in the car. What if I dragged one of them out? Yeah, she's a beautiful woman i save her life florence nightingale could have changed the whole to everything she could have fallen in love with you yeah mark you ever pull anyone out of a uh, smashed car you ever pull out uh <laughs> no no i think i've been saved before really You've been saved oh, well, by jesus religiously yeah okay well, one time i used to get pretty boozed up and drive around new orleans mm-hmm. one time i fell asleep on the interstate i just couldn't stay up i tried everything the window open radio slapping nothing worked i fell asleep on the interstate i wake up Two, my two uh, left wheels are over the guardrail, so I'm like grinding the rail at the middle of wow. my car, just up. And I wake up like, ah! I freak out. I'm the only person on the highway. I pull off, you know, boo boo boo, get back on. Both wheels are just crazy popped. I'm riding on the rim, <laughs> and uh, yeah, I pull over and I get out of the car and I'm like, holy shit, what the hell just happened? I can't believe it. So my parents know I drink and drive too much, so I couldn't go home with this car. So I uh, had to call my friend. It was like 5 a.m. My friend gets up. What a friend this guy is, David Forley. Oh, wait, Dave. Uh, yeah. I call him. I'm like, Dave. Enabler, I, Dave. Yeah, exactly. I tell him the whole situation, and he, I'm so keyed up that he can tell. He's like, all right, I'm on my way. So he comes and picks me up. We just push my car off to the side. Uh, we lock it up. We go straight to a junkyard. It was a 1971 Cutlass convertible. Wow. Yeah, I can't it was even a remember nice I've never heard you talk about a car before. It was, it was my first prized possession. It was like a real hot ride. Wow. And, uh, so we drive out to all these junkyards, like outside of New Orleans to find two rims. We have to find two 71 Cutlass rims. Wow. Yeah. We go to like three junkyards. We find one and one. We find another one. One is purple and one is gold. So we have to go back, paint them, and then put it on my car. Where do you paint them? We just bought paint. Spray painted it. Silver. Wow. Yeah, and they look terrible. It's like two shiny ass real like new rims versus my old gross ones. And uh so yeah, then we got two tires, put them on there, spent all the money I had as like a seventeen year old and pulled up, you know, no sleep. Hey dad. He's like watering the plants. <laughs> wow. Where, where you like, been? You're like Zach Morris. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, with a DUI. Wow. <laughs> I bet Zach Morris has multiple DUIs. Probably. That guy probably became a loser pretty quick. Uh, college years, he was doing all right. Yeah, that's true. How did he get into college? 
I don't know. That show started. They were in Indiana. They all moved from Indiana. Well, that's just the pilot. To... Yeah. No, it was, it was the whole first season. Six episodes. Yeah, no, first no. Six. It was the first multiple. You're talking about Mrs. I think Bliss? Six. But all the Miss Bliss episodes were in Indiana. I think oh, maybe I six. That. I'm telling you, every Miss Bliss. I, I, I I'm love telling that you, show. I think there may be Miss Bliss. There may be only six Miss Bliss episodes. No, no. There's, there's a bunch. I think there's, there's a bunch. You're going to have to 12. give it a Google. Call in if you. Can we get a Google over there? We got we got a producer. Yeah, for this. he's on it. Oh, I know Tommy well enough that if he's wrong, he won't trust him. He'll think that he's <laughs> on our side. I think there was a whole thing. Then oh, uh, they move to L.A. Then yeah. they all went to college together. Also, uh-huh. Zach played every sport. Also, every date was at the Max. Yeah, and or also the movie was, theater. Uh, they went to the movie theater a couple times. Where yeah. Screech has a white gloved. Uh, what do you call that? The waiter? Oh, sure. Oh. Are you mad at me with the comment? No, 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 no. I'm listening ah, to you. Geez, this I'm is terrified. how I listen. <laughs> oh, boy. We've never had a guest look I at us like before. I feel like maybe there's... There may be 12. Is there 12? I think you guys uh, may be right. I think there's like right. three seasons. I think there may be 12. Uh, I have the answer that it was originally supposed to be set in Indianapolis, Indiana. How yeah. many, right, how many how episodes? How many Mrs. Bliss? I think they did multiple seasons. I call think, in. Why aren't you calling I in? I think right six... I'll give you 12. Mark said 12, but no more than that. All right. Well, the uh, the Family Matters phone is lighting I'll up. Bet my, on the I'll bet my baby bill. on it. That's all these oh, black wow. fans. They want to talk Family Matters. <laughs> yeah. We'll get to it. Uh, good show. Good show. Although Family Matters, we'll get to that next. We're going to talk to two, We're going to talk 227 next week. You got it? <laughs> two seasons. Two no! seasons. Oh, I knew it. How many no! episodes in a season? Mark's going to be 50 a season. Yeah. <laughs> See, Tommy's on his phone now. I Doesn't think it was trust. called it was called Good Morning Miss Bliss. Right, but that was only the first pilot was uh, called that. Then oh. it became Saved by the Bell. Oh, and there was okay. no Slater, and there was no Jesse. Right, right. They were in L.A. They all moved to L.A. All right, together. All right, let's see. How odd. The principal. I, I don't like uh, 13, episodes. 13, 13 episodes. 13 episodes. Times That's two. That's not two seasons. Times two. No, it's 13 total. No, he's saying 13. No, it, times 13, two. No, 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 no. That's what he's saying. No, he's not. All right. Well, we got to keep the stories well, coming here because they're going right, to get mad sorry. at us. <laughs> but I used to jerk off to Kelly Kapowski exclusively. Oh, Have yeah. you seen her as an adult? I, yeah. Started back up. Yes. Yeah, she's Real she's good. good. She used to wear spandex and short skirts. And then I remember it was a big deal the first time ever I jerked off to Lark Voorhees. Oh. I remember thinking of my dad, if he finds out, right. he's going to beat me with his belt. Uh. You can't do that now. Uh, <laughs> yeah. She's, a, she's, she's big she's like Texas. She's taking a turn. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I never cared for Jesse Spano. I never got it either. She was in Showgirls, yeah, which I thought she was, was an odd choice. Tall and gangly and a nerd. I never cared for her. But that uh, Lark Voorhees, I remember being like, "What am I? Why am I doing this? This is crazy!" <laughs> and then I came and I was like, "All right, Lark." <laughs> and then uh, it was great. Remember Tori? Yeah, I didn't care for Tori either. No, a, I did. a girl with a leather jacket who beats you up. Bit of a les. Zach probably he must have had HPV minimum. He was oh, fucking yeah. everybody. Back then? Everybody. Yeah. Back then? Well, how long's HPV been? I don't know. I've had it since I was nine. <laughs> First time I jerked off to Lark Voorhees, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Oh, boy. Oh, boy Hot oh, boy. tamale. Well, let's get it. Put that phone away. Let's get into some more stories. We're good. Oh, yeah. Boy, uh... <laughs> Wait, I we lost you, John again. He's out forever. I heard you were a bit of a uh, roughhouser, if you know what I mean. Yes, Put back the in the up. day. You used to roll up the sleeves and yeah. use the dukes. Oh. Where does duke come from? Can you Google that? What's duke? It's a good Put question. up your dukes? Yeah, what is the dukes? It's your knuckles, I guess, but I don't know. I don't. <laughs> or do you think it's your whole fist? Probably I think it's the your, whole fist. I think it's the elbow down. Dukes. You no. put them up. Elbow down. Do you think it's... um? Like maybe an animal. Is there an animal reference here? Possibly. I think so. And how come if you're fisting a woman, you never say dukin? <laughs> <laughs> Put up your duke, and you're like, what? Yeah. I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm never, I'm never uh, fisted. I'm never play by playing what I'm doing to them. Ah, oh, yeah, no. yeah, that's a good point. Here come the I'm dukes, fisting you now. <laughs> duke clear weapons. What do you got? One more finger. Old. It comes from old oh. Cockney rhyming. All Put right. up your forks. Forks. And then somehow forks turn to dukes. Ah, dukes. I think dukes turn back to forks at some point. I've never heard forks. Forks? For hands? Oh, I, th- I think they're talking about the food, though. Oh, boy. Oh. We have to repeat what he said because that didn't come across the mic. Oh, right? it didn't come across. Oh, okay. Well, okay. Is, he so should have a mic in there. Cockney. Yeah, we gotta get a mic in there. We should get a mic in there. We, this one barely works, though. We'll give you like one percent right. of Audible. So, uh, yeah. Dot com slash Tuesdays with stories. Thank you. So he's Cockney rhyming slang is they rhyme everything. Like instead of face, they say, "Oh, you got a real ugly Chevy Chase." You know, that's how they do it over hmm. there. Hmm. And so they say, in Cockney. Yeah, they hmm. rhyme everything. I don't know why. And then so he's, he's oh, I'd saying hate to be there. The 
Duke of Forks. Put up your forks. Put up your forks. Oh, so then we can put up your Duke, Duke of, Yorks. of Yorks. Yes, I don't know why put up your forks came to play. So now I don't even know the origin of the yeah. origin. I gotta tell you, I'm real sorry for asking everybody. Uh, oh, I think that was an no, it was thirteen fun. episodes. Joking. By the way, <laughs> I was close with 12. total, total, and All it was right. called Good Morning Miss Bliss the whole thirteen. Oh, oh, later on they changed it to Say by the Bell. They did change it to Say by the I Bell see. later on. Wow. There you go. But now the ones with her are still called Say by the Bell. Though. Yeah, yeah. If you want to DVR it, interesting. Um, well, where were we going? Oh, yeah, we were, were talking about you fight. and your dukes. You're well, a big fighter. I don't, I'm not a big fighter. I only have... You used to be. No, not even. I have, like, one gang fight. Well, lay it on us, oh, big boy. Uh, I was, uh, what, I was probably 18? Oh, oh boy. boy. I worked at the mall, and there was this real, uh, uh, what, I, I thought it was a real hot girl. I worked at the buckle in the mall. We worked oh, the in buckle. commission. That's where they really get aggressive with you. Is they make commission when they sell pants. 3%. Right. Jeez. Uh, wow. 3% of your pants. Boy, Stand Up so, Labs makes a lot more than that. <laughs> so these girl, this girl would come in, and her boyfriend would just, he was our age, but he just probably had rich parents, and he would just buy her hundreds of dollars worth of clothes. Mm. But she was always aggressively flirting with me, and then it got to the point where she would come in by herself, and then she'd be flirting with me, and then she'd come in with her friend, and then her friend, had, uh, so the, uh, the beginning of it was I, was talking to her, and I didn't know if she was into me or not, and then her friend kind of seemed into me, so I was like, let's meet my friend, we'll meet you two. So we go, and she's like, come over, we'll hang out at the pool. Oh, boy. And the two, my friend and I go, and her friend and her, uh, we're at the pool, and we, I, at this point, I just really don't know. Maybe this girl has a boyfriend, maybe she's not into me, maybe she's hooking me up with her friend, mm -hmm. and maybe there's no... So I told my buddy, I was like, let's each go to separate ends of the pool. Mm -hmm. And then... Whichever one comes to it. Oh, wow, that's I smart. like that. That's like a sitcom. Yeah, yeah. The, uh, the problem was, uh, they go in to change into their suits. I was like, separate. You go to that end. I'm going to go to this end. Yeah. Uh, and then they come out and then they just laid out. Ah. But we we're so pot committed that we just stood on opposite ends of the pool for about 30 minutes. Probably oh, wow. Like you were rubbing one out each. Yeah. <laughs> right. On the, <laughs> those jets. Oh, yes. it's so it's young. Even thinking about an 18 year old girl in a bathing suit now Oof. as a, 31 year old it sounds nice i'm hard so they uh jump into the pool sure enough the one with the boyfriend comes right up to me and we have some uh we have some history some uh some flirting and things like that mm -hmm. so uh the boyfriend obviously starts to hate me so he starts picking up on things seeing my number on her phone oh boy uh i'm out with a group of my friends one night my buddy wants to talk to her friend so i called her phone and the boyfriend answers oh boy and uh or my friend calls her phone. It doesn't matter this detail, but it kind of does. My friend calls her phone to talk to her friend. My, that guy answers and starts yelling at my friend. Mm -hmm. And uh, Joe knows this a little bit. Like I, uh, I was like, nobody's gonna talk to even anybody like that. Right. So I take the phone and I say, "Listen, dude, this isn't even about your girlfriend. He's calling to talk to this other girl. You need to just calm down and just realize you don't talk to anybody like that." Oof. And then he's being all this, and he's like, "You call my girlfriend." I was like, "I'm telling you, I, she is your girlfriend." But she would rather be with me. Oh, oh that one, that's a, that's fighting words. And Damn. then he goes, that's, no, it's not true. She's right here. And I said, put her on the phone uh, and I'll have <laughs> her say it in front of you. Wow. Oh boy. So he put her on the phone and then I, I she said it. What? She said it. She said, boy. yeah, I'd rather be with, you know, I'd rather be with you, but it, it you're still Batman. Even back then you were Batman. So, uh, she said, I'd rather be with you. Oh my lord. And then he goes, I feel for the guy. All now. right, let's do, let's do this. Let's, let's meet up, me and you. Uh huh. And, uh, he goes, you come here. And then we're 18, we live, uh, probably 20 miles apart. Uh huh. And he's like, you come here. And I'm like, no, you come here. Yeah. And then it goes <laughs> back and forth. And then, uh, I have a couple friends who are cr uh, crazy. Yeah, yeah. And they're like, we're going there! Right. And then, it's like Braveheart. Three carloads of people that I'm hanging out with. Wow. We jump in the car and we're like, we're meeting you. We meet at a, a closed down Walmart parking lot. Ooh, yeah. For me and this guy to fight, right? So my friends there is three cars. I'm in an SUV, uh, with, um, like six of my friends. Yeah. I'm there. I'm going there to fight this guy. So I tell the other two cars, I go, hey, you pull over there. Watch the fight, mm -hmm. but if you notice something, then come on out because I think we're gonna go fight at a different location. We're on a we're on a main street. Uh huh. So we, I was like, we'll we'll sit here. They'll come up. 
They'll tell us where to go. Then me and this guy will go fight, which is so – it's almost becoming like a Vegas event at this point. Right, right. right. So we're, this come up, and then they pull up three cars worth of them. Oh, interesting. So two guys right. get out. N- neither one of them's the guy. They come up to the uh, passenger window, uh, the back passenger window of this SUV. My friend rolls down the window, who happens to be one of the toughest guys. Like, he's the guy. He's in my car. Yeah. Because he's the guy. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Mm-hmm. Every group has As soon that as guy. he rolls Lewis the window J. down, Gomez. the guy has the, a hammer, oh. cracks him over the face with the hammer, blood squirts. What? Just sprays all over the car. Boy, this escalated. He's yelling, drive, drive, drive. <laughs> They're still leaning in the car. This guy's swinging this hammer in the car. Oh, my trying Lord. Trying to hit him more. Uh, I have this... Uh, Everything slows down. I'm in the driver's seat. Yeah. I was like, I could pull away, which I should have done. Uh huh. But I was like, you know what? I'm not. So I, uh, slowly, I just I had a necklace on. Yeah. I just took my necklace off and put it down. Two things I remember is I remember just dropping my necklace in the cup holder, a little, uh, gold chain that ah. a kid would wear. Mm-hmm. And then my friend in the passenger seat locking his door. Uh huh. So he's out. He's right. done. I get out, uh, I walk from the driver's side, I walk around the front of the car, that guy's still swinging his hammer, and I get a run start from the front of the car to this guy, and jaw, right in the back of the jaw, uh-huh. I found out later I broke this guy's jaw wow. oh, with nice doing feeling. that. Then, the other guy runs off, uh, there's two of them, he runs off, I grab him and jump on top of him, I have my a knee on the ground and a knee up, Yeah. and then I'm just hitting this guy. On the ground. Oh and I'm not even a fighter, but yeah. I'm doing my own here. This is the guy, though, right? No, not the guy yet. Oh, He's oh, not there yet. This oh, is geez. two of his He's the hammer guy. So then what's happening now is I'm hitting this guy. Then the hammer guy, who uh, I broke his jaw. It, MC. This is a separate guy. The hammer guy, I don't see him. He comes back in and hits me in my knee. Uh, I had just had uh, ACL surgery. Uh, oh, so wow. he cracks me in this knee with a hammer. Jesus what? Christ. This is all, uh, I remember this uh, vividly. I've told the story a few it's times. It's like a also. real hardware store hammer. So he hits a me with this pin? hammer. Wow. A uh, big hammer. Oh, like, wow. uh, like a hammer, you a regular hammer. Not a ball Jesus. pin, but a hammer. Cracks me. My whole leg goes numb. So I leave the guy on the ground. He runs back to the car. I grab him by his collar and then turn around and, and kind of fist around yeah, to the front of his face. Yes. And when I see that happen, I hooked around. All of a sudden, uh, the two cars of my friends pull up in a, just screeching tires, doors opening before cars are stopped. Yeah. Yes. His friends are also running. And then Woo. my friends and his friends just meet. And it's just a melee. It's wow. Twelve this is like on fire. it's twelve on twelve. Oh, it's like Miss Bliss. The guy that I'm uh, I was on the ground with, still on the ground. Another of my friend is now beating him. The guy uh, that I'd grabbed with the hammer has my friends immediately grab him, disarm him with this hammer. Thank God. I have another friend that has climbed out of the back of our car. We didn't bring any weapons like these crazy guys. Yeah. But my friend had a baseball bat in the car. He, which he, I did find out later, he brought. Uh, but he <laughs> doesn't have. Um, he doesn't have anyone to hit. Yeah. So he runs to their car, and there's a guy in the car, and it turns out to be the guy. What? The guy that oh. started all this is not even... He's sitting in the back of a car with a girl that's not the girl also. Wow, that's what? why the girlfriend doesn't want to be with him anymore. So my friend is monkey-stomping the hood of this car and takes this wooden bat to the windshield and shatters the bat. Whoa. And then everything is at this point. It's so much going on. I'm trying to find who to fight. <laughs> I look over, and I see one guy on on another guy's back just punching him in the face yeah and then the other guy's going carl it's me and it's two of my friends punching each other uh, but not uh, knowing. it's like when you an orgy you start fucking a guy yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. then uh Been the there. worst thing i saw was a guy on all fours uh a little blood coming out of his face and then my friend does a full-on field goal kick Ooh. to his face ah oh, that's brutal that's so tough. uh every one of their their guys is on the ground i look around the guy the the guy that started everything has finally, he's leaning on a car. Hmm. He's just leaning on a car. You got time to lean. And I point on him and I was like, you! And as I point at him, he starts to, he tries to crawl in the window of the car. Uh huh. Wow. And this is the only thing I get. I get one solid to the nose and I just felt it just explode in his nose in the back seat of this car. This is wild. We all have to peel out. Uh, we're leaving my friend. I turn in the back seat. I see, I think my friend has taken one of them as people. (laughs) But he just stole in a jacket. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, then they, they, that threatened, been hilarious. they threatened to press charges. Uh, well, he had a, a hammer. 
a, a day later, uh, I see the guy whose jaw. I think I'm gonna have to fight him again individually without the adrenaline. Yeah. Oh my god! But he was just like, "Hey, that was that was crazy, right?" <laughs> like, yeah, was That's crazy. how I feel like small towns are, where you're just like, "Well, I guess we're friends now." Like yeah, when you're older, I you just go to bars. A couple of them. Yeah. Wow, That's crazy boy. The 80s, I mean, that's huh? a story. That's unbelievable. Jeez, well, the Tuesdays with Stories podcast is happy to be sponsored by Audible.com, a leading provider of spoken digital audio entertainment and information. They have over 150,000 titles to choose from, and you can listen to them on any device, including whatever you're hearing us on right now. And if you sign up at our URL, which is audiblepodcast.com backslash Tuesdays with Stories, one word, you get one free audio book and a month trial of the service. Wow, that's a long time. Not too whole bad. Month. It sounds like we plugged that in, but you just went right into it from the story. I think oh, we, yeah. we nailed it. Wow. That's that's insane. See, I remember having a uh, like a, a neighborhood thing where everyone got to get and it was like 20 on 20, but nothing ever happened. Ah, it yeah. was one of those ones where there's a lot of looking and everyone's like that. This thing happened. And it's all boyfriend related. Always boyfriend. boyfriend. The, uh, I just, as I was telling it, I remembered when I said we didn't bring weapons, I remembered the bat thing. And the, the only reason the bat thing has significance is because we were back at my friend's house uh, and he was like, uh, has anyone seen my baseball bat? And uh, everyone just paused. And we're like, what? Uh, I don't think so. And he goes, well, he goes, I always keep this bat by the door. My grandfather, who just passed away, made it for my mother when what? she was a child. Oh, my Lord. So my friend shattered a homemade baseball bat with, uh, you know, what do you call it? Um, Windshield? Sim- sim- not uh, The word I'm looking for is something that has sentimental? a emo- sentimental ah, value. Yes. Sentimentality. Sentimentality. Oh, boy. Wow, man, that is wild. That's a crazy story. Wow. Jeez. I, I don't can't... think, yeah, I have one other fight where I got beat up by a guy. Well, good, you're human. When I was, um, when I was, um, a freshman in high school. You know what would have been great, though, if your friend broke the guy's windshield and went, give me your hand. (laughs) (laughs) Then the car burst in flames and a bunch of Latinos ran out of it. (laughs) Are we racist for thinking that it was Latinos? I I feel bad. I'm feeling guilty. It's a car full of people. I go Latino. car full of people that wrecked the highway. It's interesting that you guys went there. Yeah, I feel bad now. Yeah. Don't feel bad. Well, I also thought, because they walked right past you, I thought they didn't speak English. So they were just oh! like, I don't know what you mean. No, these guys are just rude. Right. Uh. right. <laughs> now, uh, now, now, like, uh, Mark, you're, you're, you're uh, a handsome fella, and now you have a beautiful baby. Oh, I appreciate it. I haven't heard the podcast where you talked about how handsome I was. You said that you did that. Yeah, I think we did that. I think yeah. we did that a couple times, yeah, actually. Yeah, we're big fans of those we eyes. Have, we have crushes <laughs> on you. Uh, now you 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 got a you got a great gal back home in L.A. and a beautiful yeah, yeah. baby. Yeah. And uh, previously you were engaged, if I'm not mistaken, at a very young yeah, yeah. age. And in between, there in was between, a time, there was the best. There was a time the where times. Yeah, you were similar to the where the Mark is at right now. And boy, I wouldn't mind getting some tits involved in some of these stories if we could. Ooh, I please. loved that period. Yes. yes. Fun period. Uh, a I haven't, lot of menstruation. See, I had single <laughs> periods, but I was very, uh, I was down. I didn't know. I had herpes. I was gay. So I it's, a, it was I hard had to get laid. Kind of, I think, would be the perfect time where I was like, you know what, I'm going to get in a relationship eventually. I am in no hurry. And in the meantime, I would like to meet as many women as possible and if that means sex then so be it but a lot of times it's not it's, i just would go up and i would just talk to any woman even if it was like uh hey what's your name how are you yeah, you're and good. kind of not and some i feel like in today we with all the the websites and the thing it's like well you're a guy you can't talk to him and they feel threatened immediately well i'm not i don't subscribe to that i'm a non-threatening guy i don't think that we have to lose manners i can't ask your name right because of things i i, I so mm-hmm. i'm like hello and what i would just approach any woman that i found to be attractive or something about her that i'd like to know more about i'd walk up and i'd say hey so most of the time you don't have sex with them. but then sometimes you have there's like great great moments and yeah. nights and yeah. hotels and beds and oh it's the best i was real i was like you know what i like you <laughs> you're great there was a girl that in, uh, in indiana that i was real Miss Bliss. Really into, and uh, I was like, well, just, I'll fly you. Come to me. I'll f- I just. You flew, flew out, girls? Fly out, yeah. Wow. wow. Yeah. That's a cool move. I'll fly out. I flew to, to uh, a couple. And these are like the wow. flight move. I have to be like, this isn't just a physical thing. I have to be really into of course. you. And, and, you know, at that point, you're like not looking for a relationship, but if it happens, it happens. Right. The flight has, I've done it a few times, only backfired one time in a way of, 
I I went through a phase where I was really into uh, redheads, mm-hmm. and I think I'm still in that phase. But I uh, I think it's just at this point I was like, God, I love. I think everything about them is great. Right? Yeah. And I met this redhead at a bar, and uh, we didn't. You know, we didn't. Our time wasn't enough. So I was like, Come see me. I lived in St. Louis. I was like, Come see me. I'll fly you here. You come see me. And uh, she did. And then as soon as she got in the car, the personalities didn't match. So ah, I made the move too early. Ah, it was just yes. physical. Right. And I knew immediately that this two and a half days is going to be torture. Oh, my right. God. I went through four co-hosts before I found Mark. <laughs> <laughs> he flew me out. I, uh, I had to uh, have a friend come out. I was like, we're going to dinner. You have to meet us for dinner. Oh, my God. Act like you got ditched. And then I'll act like we're doing you a favor. Blah, blah, blah. To the point where her flight, I booked her flight late because I thought it was going to be great, and uh, like 4 p.m. And then it was so bad the night before, I was like, I just realized I have to leave at 7 a.m. Oof. Uh, so I can drop you off at the airport, or you can stay here and I'll call you a cab. And she's like, well, I guess you can drop me off. So at 7 a.m., I carried her suitcase and an empty suitcase of mine <laughs> to my car <laughs> and, and took Ooh. her to the airport. And then <laughs> she sat there until 4. And wow. I went back home and went to bed. Yeah, two things about the flights. One, I hope you're getting the miles. <laughs> I will, yeah, you, you can use the miles. Or if you buy them, if you're flying a girl or flying to a girl, always go southwest. Aha. Uh-huh. Because you can cancel it. Right. Get the money back. Mm-hmm. And two, I was going to say, because I had a girl drive out from Boston once and we were hooking up, and it was way too early because she was just like, we'd have sex. We had sex right away. And then she's like, now what? And I'm like, oh, I just want to go do stuff now. I want to go do shows. And now I had yeah. to bring her to the shows. It was brutal. It was two days Yeah, if hell. you're going to do it, especially here, I think it has to be, I'm not doing shows these couple yeah. of nights. You have to be into the girl enough that you're going to have dinner. Right. You're going to hang out. Right. Yeah. She may be around your friends. You got to be okay Ugh, with it. I don't like that. Oh, no, no. You don't want that. Around a bunch of comics, that's not good. I remember I, I hooked up with a girl in uh, Atlanta, Hot Lanta, uh-huh. as it's uh, known in some, some circles. Do. Humid Lanta is, uh, doesn't catch on as much, but it's yeah. more accurate. It's lukewarm Lanta, but that's not even in Georgia. Uh, <laughs> but I met a girl. Her name was uh, Melanie. Hottest girl I ever hooked up with, ever, ever. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> <What a> lukewarm. <laughs> Lanta. Uh, Continue. Uh, beautiful. Uh, ample breasts. Uh-huh. Uh, mm-hmm. Breasticles. Breast. Uh, and, and, and just uh, very attractive. And uh, I, we hooked up. And then she kept being like, you got to come back. And I was like, you got to come up. But I was broke at the time. I just moved to New York. I had no money. And I couldn't get there. I was like, I got to find another gig. I, I couldn't figure it out. And I think my life would have been a lot different if I, I should have borrowed money. And now she's debt. married, I think. Yeah, I should have go gone in debt. debt. But I had no credit. It was a whole thing. Most attractive girl, and we, we sent pictures a couple times, and uh, I treasured those pictures. But then, back then, when your phone goes away, you lose the pictures. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So I had like uh, yeah, I guess there's nothing there. Just lost love. Ouch. No real story. No but money. I mean, I, I have, I'm happy now. I got a great girlfriend now, blah, 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 hey, yada, yada. Yeah, we, well, you know, we you. it doesn't mean, I still, re- I'm, there's still going to be uh girls from that period of my life where I'm like, I'm going to remember you. Right? Oh, yeah. Forever. I will remember you. Did you ever, when, in this, on this tear, I hope this isn't an inappropriate question, but when you were on that tear with the ladies, did, yeah. you, did you find yourself kind of like, oh, I kind of like this girl, like too much. Maybe I got to get out. Oh, no, no, no. That's, that was my thing. I was open to anything. Oh, okay. So it's, you know, sometimes uh, in that uh, period of time, nothing ever got super exclusive for any period of time. But there were like a few where I go, this is great. And my thing was, and I was very open about like, until it's understood or we have a conversation, I'm going to assume you're seeing other people Uh and you can assume I'm seeing other people until we have a definitive we're not. Right. And if I was really into a girl, I'm like, well, I'm not going to waste, you know, like I'll, I'll be into this as long as it lasts. And for the most part, you know, whatever reason it is and. For me, a lot of time is either lived in a different place or just the travel. It just slowly goes away. But I would embrace that if I was like really into a girl. I would embrace it just because the uh, the hot, you know, the girls that you go like, oh my god, this girl we slept together, one of the hottest girls I've ever seen in my yeah. whole life. That's uh, that's a memory. That's a physical thing. But the stuff where you're like, man, I'm into this girl. She's yeah. funny. I like what's going on. All that stuff. That's something that's that's important, and that's that's the whole reason you're meeting all of them. Yes, 
Funny is underrated with a girl. You know, you always say women. I like a man with a sense of humor. I like a girl with a sense of humor. Of course, no one yeah. ever talks about that. And a sense of humor uh, it laughs at me. Yes. And it can make me laugh. Yes. Right. Serious? The joke. Nothing worse on a date when the jokes are just flying over a girl's right. head. Yeah. My girlfriend's one of the funniest people I've ever met. There you go. Maybe we. I laughed out loud yesterday. I bent over laughing. She blew out a flip flop. Uh-huh. She had a funny idea, thing about like Jimmy Buffett blowing out a flip flop. Yeah. yeah. Stepped on a pop top. Had to cruise on back home. Anyways. Uh, she blew out a flip flop. It, it, it's so fast. You go from like it's summer. I'm having fun to I'm homeless ah, immediately. And we, yeah. we we did a bent over laugh. It was real fun. And then we had to. She had to like limp home on one foot and then was dragging the flip flop. <laughs> I had to jog ahead to a dollar store. It's a real problem. I've never worn flip flops before in my life because I'm a man. Yeah, men's feet shouldn't be out like that. I agree. <laughs> Speaking of which, great segue. Uh, I, I, we were also Sarah and I were at uh, Sanford's in Astoria recently. A young Asian girl. Was sitting, uh, she was wearing like, what do you call them? Flats? Just like those yeah. no socks, flat shoes. Yeah. Uh-huh. Kicks them off, was sitting with both feet on the furniture, on the booth, barefoot, and you could smell her feet. Oh, come on. New York, I swear to God. <laughs> New York City. New York City, summertime, walking around with no socks, kicks her fucking shoes right off. Yeah. Two bare feet on the booth. Uh, that's an epidemic. I've seen that on airplanes too. People oh, sitting too on their many feet. people taking their bare feet yeah. out on a plane. It's yes, a plane. but this is a restaurant. <laughs> that's true. A restaurant on the furniture. Uh, this is. I wanted. To, I always want to ask people who raised you, what time, what year, where that right. you think it's okay to put your bare feet uh-huh. on anyone's furniture. Yeah, and, well, and, and you can smell just, the, just, I'm sure they're uncomfortable because they're uh, two sizes too small to keep your feet. <laughs> Hey. So you can smell the feet as well, and I would have liked to own a restaurant just I to be like, you things. have to go out I here. say too many things. I, I said a thing, uh, we bumped into another friend of ours. I would have said something to her. I did, and we bumped into another friend of ours, and this is how I did it. I was like, hey, Tina, nice to see you. What do you think of this, boy, hell of a restaurant, except it smells like feet. How about this woman over here whose feet are just on? Can you believe this? And I said it oh. through her. Wow. Did, did the, the I Asian did it hear you? style. They were all looking, I think they didn't speak English, they were like, uh-huh. I think that was another language. They might have well, just... What you, made, what you did wasn't. That's definitely another language. Ooh, we're getting more and uh, more... Racist. <laughs> yeah. We like to keep in a racist thing somewhere at some point. Yeah. In the I, don't mind that. I don't mind that. Yeah, that's... We'll have to do that one. We'll talk Family Matters next week, because I'm sure that would get racial. Oh, I hope so. Uh, did you know that... Uh, do you remember this? That Steve Urkel was not on Family that's Matters. That's what I was going to say. Is that what you were going to say? Interesting. And, and then they saw people like this guy. Push it! And then push he it. came the show. Yeah. What do you but, mean not on it? He was in the pilot. No. Oh boy. We're gonna debate this as well. We gotta Google Steve it. Steve Urkel was Lucker. not on the show. I think he it was, was like a full season. I think he was in the pilot and he tested so well. The mm. show was supposed to be about the family, but he was in the pilot and tested so well, so they wrote him bigger into it. I'm pretty sure that he came in later. I I'm think not he was later. Positive. But I'm not positive either. But Judy. this is only from my childhood memory. I have not looked this up yeah, since. Yeah. Uh-huh. I think that the show existed without him for right. a period. I think you're right. I Are we looking it up back there? He's on it. All right, he's on it. Let's keep... Uh, Mark we'll keep and I will keep talking. Tom is going to fume. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 yeah, I didn't know how much the, the lady stories... Uh, we can we can move on from those. Well, we can we go back to on. ladies. I mean, I'm not married to Urkel. I just wasn't sure <laughs> when we first. But are you married to Stefan? When we first started working together, we we had a, a pool incident with some ladies. Oh, a, a second yeah. pool incident. Yeah, that was way back, and I barely knew you at the time, which was uh, exciting. And it's uh, it's one of those ones where um, I, I you know like I it's, I think I'll remember it when I look back at my younger days. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna you know I'll remember my. Uh, life with my relationship and my child but then the, it, they'll creep in stories like this this will be a top three right anything girls and pools is always a good mixture oh yeah girls and pools uh and bosom this this has <laughs> probably been i think my i can't even remember what year I, uh, my ex broke up this is like the year right after my ex broke up with me and i think we had just met mine maybe too. Oh, no was it oh later seven? oh no later than that oh nine maybe i don't know 2010 I think that's by 2010, because I was right after my ex yeah, yeah. as well. He's got an answer. Oh, we have an answer. Midway through the first season. Midway ah, through the first season. Wow. Yes. Wow. Did you Google that? <laughs> Tommy, you're 0 for 2, man. <laughs> I'm not 0 for 2. He's this person not... was 13 episodes. Oh. Yeah, that was, I thought yeah. you said 6. 
I said six to twelve. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> I was still not thirteen. Uh, I think you said pilot. Is that what you actually said? <laughs> um, check he's not, the tape. I don't like to look at it as you zero oh, for two. I like to look at it as me two for two. Uh huh. Let's try to keep I it think- civil here because I got to spend another day and a half here, and I don't want to <laughs> lose a friendship here. Uh, so, anyways, uh, so twenty ten. Whatever he both you matter, and I right? were both single at the same time is when this story happened. There we go. Pick whatever year. Eighty one. <laughs> Hopefully, hopefully nobody Googles this. Oh, boy. But uh, we were swimming, <laughs> and there was topless women involved. How did it get there? Because I don't yeah. even remember. How did it start? I was drunk. I don't know. The year was, oh, 2009. <laughs> I definitely was drinking. That's All 100% right. for sure. <laughs> we got um, that. So, uh, <laughs> these girls, there were three, three of them. Oh, boy. Three of us on the show. <laughs> three of us on the show. Yes. There's another guy. Uh... We'll not we'll not name names. Well, we don't want to name him because we don't know when he started coming. <laughs> Wait, what now? Uh, another guy. I can't remember his name. Tom Wilson? Yeah. Biff from Back to the Future. So we uh, meet these girls uh, post-show, mm-hmm. and <laughs> we're like, uh, I'm laughing. It's also real hot in here. It is a little uh, warm. It's very toasty. My also, mic doesn't work. There's no water. It's we're, a on, whole... we're on Molly. Yeah. It's no ordeal. The roof is broken. It's leaking. You are wearing a jacket. For the I record. am. I oh, am. Yeah. All right. We'll take it off. There take we go. Uh, off. Let's see what we got working Ooh, under here. Hello. Uh, okay. Is that Jason Statham? <laughs> it's the, Tommy um, Jonagan, everybody. Oh. At Tommy oh, Jonagan. Uh, so we meet these girls after the show, and we go from there to a bar uh, to have some drinks. They do the whole, we'll meet you there. Uh-huh. Ne- never happens. Right. Never happens. Oh, if yeah, I learned right. anything from uh, two or three years of being single, it's... Uh, we gotta go, we gotta go together. Yeah. There's no meet you there, cause mm-hmm. you never meet you there. Right. So, but they meet us there. Wow. So there's, I, I remember this. So when we met them after, there's two. So there's three of us and then two of them. That's a little. I'm sitting, I'm pulled back. I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna be out of this little run. Uh. So you're the headliner. I am the headliner. Playing it cool. Let it, uh, let it, let it lie. You know what I mean? I pull back a little bit. And, um, we go to this restaurant. <laughs> then a wild card comes in. A oh, third one. Oh, a, a yes. different one. Third one comes in yes. with, I'm telling you, like, uh, body, and, and then just had this, maybe one of the hottest pairs of shoes with a foot tattoo that I've ever seen. Oh, that's right. And then she had a little tattoo creeping up. I'm into tattoos on girls. I, I like a tattoo as well. Love so a she tat. had a little tattoo creeping up, but you can only see a little bit of it. You mm-hmm. can know it's there, Perfect. but it's only a little bit. A tease. Nice little body. A tattoo. And then... uh Almost like, uh, you know, almost like we couldn't have planned it better. The bar, last call, everybody. Last yeah. call, everybody. Oh, boy. So we have to go, hey, um, do you guys want to go back to the hotel? We can hang out. They're like, can you get drinks there? And I happen to know that this is one of those hotels that have that self-serve thing. They don't serve after last call, but I regularly steal alcohol from front right. desks after hours Good. oh yeah we've done that together I do that. too I'm a big, when i get too many enemy yeah I'm a, i'll just i'm like you can sell them now but you can't sell them this sounds like communist america yeah. i'm putting them in my back pocket i'm walking away right cool. so we go <laughs> uh go back to the room we're in there and i mean this is like almost lingering i'm trying to remember it as i'm telling it right but then uh they're like let's go to the pool oh boy they go why don't you guys ask if you can go to the pool and and we're who, if anyone's going to ask, it has to be you. Yes, you ask. These two cute girls leave. Everyone's like, that's not happening. It's 3.30 in the morning, 3 in the morning. We're not getting in the pool. They come back up, and they're like, he said just go in. Oh, oh no, no. I believe the phone oh. rang. The oh, hotel the phone room rang. phone rang, which wow. is even better. Yeah. She's like, come down. Yes. Oh, my God. She did a little flirt. I think she the showed best a tit part, to the, the guy. The best part ah. about it is I could see in the guy's face. They didn't tell him that there were three guys coming. Of course, course, yeah. Of course. So we come down. We go to the thing. Dude's immediately down to the underwear. Oh, yeah. We're like down. We're out. Right. Girls, oh, I don't want to, but maybe if I... And then boom. Yeah. Underwear, tops. The one girl, the hottest, I would say. Yeah. Body, everything. It's like, I don't want to just... I don't want to just... I can't, uh, you know... Uh, I go here, just wear my shirt. It's a white t-shirt. Mm-hmm. She's like, oh, that's much better. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> she, doesn't, for she doesn't understand how things work. Right. So she does like a, just in this white t-shirt, a dive under and then comes up like a dream. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. The other two girls aren't even in, they don't even exist for a second. Right. This girl comes up blonde hair first. 
Oh. White t-shirt, shakes it off. Oh. Insanity. Oh, man. Then we're doing chicken, uh, oh. one on the shoulders. Bites. Yeah. Tops are off. The vagina's it, right on your head. Yeah. yeah, it's on your neck. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Neck puss. Boy, oh boy. Greg Warren must have been going nuts, huh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it just, I'm trying to think of anything else happened to the, the, that and then the Was there a, 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 a hookup at some? I mean, come well, on. Well, we all had, like, we, we had, all of them came back to one room, I believe. We all went back to one room. The, the real thing that happened is, uh, uh, in, in, in full discretion, we're on a podcast and, uh, this is min- many years ago, so I don't think there's, I'm, I don't think I'm gonna have to answer to this, but I've just never had a, uh, at that point and to date, never had a threesome. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Really, it's on my, and I know it's generic, but it's like the top of, the, it, if you checked on all the things I want to happen, uh, as a family man, yeah, it's the next thing is have a threesome. Right, right. right. first right. non-family, first associated. non-family wish. Got it. Is mm-hmm. threesome. Right. And at this point, you know, I'm single, and there's two girls in my bed. Yeah. Right. And one Joe List. Ah. So in my mind, I'm like, maybe this threesome can still happen. Right. How do I get rid so of old gangly? The yeah. one, the one girl that uh, the the t-shirt girl, she's completely nude. Now. Oh my god. She's on there. There's hands going on. Then the other girl is, uh, hands, her hands come over, mm. and, uh, some, then some jealousy happens. Of then I realize the threesome's out. Uh huh. Now one there is, has to be a choice. Right. Yes. Now there has to be a choice. Well, one, one, one was not as attractive and a bit annoying, if I recall. Oh. It became annoying. Very immature. Oh, uh, tickling and kind uh, of laughing. Yes, and immature. Uh, really laughy. immature. Yeah. And, uh, she got into that thing of, well, if I'm not, Nobody is. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So then it back then it you know became uh sun up and uh nothing you know, nothing happened ever. But the one the highlight, even though there was no threesome and no hookups, was the uh one with the body. Yes, I remember. Gets up, the windows are open, the sun's coming up. Yeah. She walks to the window and you just see the silhouette, but then uh. also some sh- flashes of light on this crazy Ooh. hot body. Yes. And goes up and closes the curtains uh. and it comes back as a shadow of a hot, it was right. insane. I and can then see at, it this, so well. at this point, you and I are both like, uh, like yeah. looking at this girl and the other one's still like, ah, goof, bah, yeah. uh, and like elbow. queefing and elbowing us. And what were you uh, doing the whole time? I was hanging out, okay. drinking beers, drinking scotch, the whole thing. Right. The business. He was, uh, masturbating in the, uh, after we had discussed it later, he, was like, I thought you were trying to hook up the threesome, but then I thought there's also a chance you wanted me to get rid of the... It was a whole confusing... And that's, that's what happens. That's probably the reason I've never had a threesome, is because as soon as it got close, I would get too... Gr- I never let one organically happen. Right, right. A lot of... It's, it's, it's hard to communicate all the threesome stuff. I'm always so... Uh, what do you call it? Uh, self-conscious about cock-blocking that I end up cock-blocking by trying to be like, am I fucking this up? And then they're like, what, I'm fucking what up? And it's a whole thing. Right, yeah. Yeah, but... But it's just weird. You had two girls in your bed, and you're just sitting there drinking. He's in the bed also drinking. Yeah, we were oh, all... The four no of us were furniture. in bed. Oh, that's a big bed. Yeah, it was oh, Yeah, I got a king. You know, I'm on the road again. Oh, right. They were thin girls. I'm a thin guy. That's true. He's a thin guy. We were laying on top of each other, stacked. So. Yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was really fun. For the reason. High ceilings. Now, you've been on quite a little tear yourself now these Oh, days. boy. Listen to this move I pulled off, and we got to wrap it up. All right. Well, pull off this move, and... Uh, so, uh, I was just in uh, Rochester. <laughs> Ooh, Ooh, Sim City. City. Yeah. yeah. Oh boy. Windy City. Have you been there? I maybe have not. It's uh it ain't pretty. There. It's a real sad town. It's an old town, like a boom town that just died. You yeah. know, they had Kodak, they had Bausch and Lom, they all moved away. It's all shit That's now. That's most of America, by the way, if you're not traveling. That's true, yeah. And just everybody there is sad. It's it's a lot of crime, crazy crime rate, a lot of ghettos, the whole thing. So I'm doing this comedy club called The Comedy Club. Mm-hmm. Now, my my whole thing is like, look, the club sucks. I'm not drawing at all. No one's coming out. But if I can just get laid, I'll be all right. And the girls in this town are very attractive, surprisingly. Uh, but they're all just dead inside, which I kind of like. <laughs> so uh, I'm just kind of on the prowl. I meet this girl at a bar. I get her number. This is Thursday night. And I was like, come to the Friday show. Come out. She's like, all right, great. So she's like, I'm going to come to the late show. And I'm in. I think I'm in. So... I start boozing up pretty hard because I'm so sad and lonely on this trip that on the Friday first show, I flirt with this waitress pretty hard, and I think I'm getting something here. So I'm like, oh, wow. Well, I hope this uh, girl didn't show up to the late show because I I'm, I'm, might nail this waitress tonight. Mm-hmm. And uh, so she's like, yeah, I've got two kids, but I haven't had sex in like a year because of this and that. And I was like, oh, this is going to be great. So uh, she's like, the kids are away. I mean, she's giving me all these signals. Yeah. Friday late show comes around. Guess who shows up? Other chick. Two kids. Lark Voorhees. <laughs> uh, I wish. So 
She shows up, so now I'm like, do I want her or do I want the waitress? What do I do? What do I do? I'm starting to think about that. Ah, two kids. She's weathered. She looks like she's seen a few winters. I'll go with the other chick. Oh, I farted, but it wasn't audible. All right. And then- Audible.com. <laughs> Backslash. Tuesdays with stories. Thank you. And uh, so I go, fuck it. I'm going to hook up with the, the other chick, not the waitress. So we're at the bar hanging out. We're boozing up. da 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 the waitress taps you on the shoulder and goes, hey, I'm leaving. You want to walk me to my car? Oh, boy. And I was like, eh, this will be harmless. I'm sticking with this girl. I'll walk yeah, her to yeah, the car. Yeah, yeah. So I walk the waitress to the car. We start vigorously, vigorously making out. Just like, ah! And the car, her, she's leaning on the car, like oh on the God. hood. I'm oh. bent her over. I'm making out with her one leg in the air, you know, wrapped around me. <laughs> <laughs> Just going at it in a parking lot, a filthy, dirty Hyundai. And, um, yeah, so... I, I go, okay, thank you. She's like, you can come over. Here's my address. Da, da, da. I was like, yeah, thank you, thank you. I'm going to talk to the other chick now. I turn around. Guess who's watching the whole thing? Saw the whole makeout. Oh. The other chick saw everything. I'm like, what an idiot. She's leaving now. And then I blew it with her. Oh, what a God. fucking idiot. So I go back. I'm just apologizing. Like, look, her kids just died. I was trying to console her. You know, like, uh, I'm a nice guy. Uh, and she's like, fuck you, you piece of shit. Uh, you make me sick. So now she's left. So now I'm sitting at the bar with no car. And my friend's just like, wow, you are an idiot. You got greedy. You know, he's like the, the local opener. He's like, you're a fucking douche. What the hell's wrong with you? I'm like, I know, I know. I'm just drinking my sorrows away. I'm like, all right, can you bring it back to the hotel? I get to the hotel, text. I check my text. It's the it's the other girl, the non-waitress. Ooh. And she goes, where are you? And I said, I'm at my hotel. She goes, I'm going to come over there and chew you out. And I'm like, what? Why would you do that? She's like, what's your room number? Uh, 320, Holiday Inn Express, whatever street. And she's like, yeah, I'm going to come over there and really give you a piece of my mind. I'm like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> but she seemed like really angry, a lot of caps, exclamations. And I was like, all right. I leave the door unlocked, just leave it cracked open. 20 minutes later, boom, door is kicked open. Just a ray of light comes in because I had, I had the lights off. And she's like, get on the bed. I'm going to fucking show you what's what. And I'm like, okay. Oh, she man. pushes me on the bed. I go flying backwards. She jumps on top of me. We bang all night. Wow. What? That's, that's you like, got a new move. That's I know. Like medieval sex. Yeah. That's amazing. Oh, my God. But I mean... To to recover from the makeup, I mean, it was that's wild. unbelievable. Was she wearing something uh, power Hot? dominant? Nah, skirt. She had a catcher's mask on. In my yeah. mind, I wanted to have a, you know thigh skirt. highs and, and, a, and a whip and a nah. thing, jeans and like a girl top. Wow. Oh no, come on, it's a choke. I right. love this. Turn right. the mics off. Oh, I want to keep wearing? telling stories like this all night. <laughs> yeah, she had high boots on and Ooh, then, uh, sexy and, uh, a chain mail, and then she shoved the heel in your asshole, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. You came immediately and she made you drink it. Yeah! Right. I jizzed a champagne flute and yeah. drank it. And then you had to watch the entire season of Family Matters without Urkel. Remember that? I guess still have to That's Google not how that. It goes. <laughs> it's the grand decision, a no. great design. Some people say it's even harder to find. Uh, I, don't I don't know, know the song, that, but I, I knew know. there was no Urkel at one point. Uh, I remember Urkel coming out and being like, what's this all about? He's gay? Hey. No, oh, oh, he came out, oh, you know, I see. onto the stage. Boy, we got we, we, more we got a, stories. We got to we got to oh, wrap got it up here. Them. Let's turn this off and go do them. Let's tell some more. We we got to uh, wrap it up, <laughs> uh, Tommy. I hope you'll come back next time you're in New York. Yeah, we want you to be the guy when you're in town. You do the show. Yes, you, you go. You do Ron and Fez, and then you come here. Oh, I'll be that guy. That we, we would love for you to be that guy. I'll be the guy. I, I know you got a million stories, and uh, you're a guy who. Uh, you're very hyper aware, as as most great comedians are. So you have a story. Everything that you do can right. often result in I'd a like story. I'd like to think that. Uh, Try to be aware. Yeah, and uh, if you guys aren't familiar with Tommy Janica, it's hard to believe that you wouldn't be, but uh, you, you should be because he's really just the best comic uh, working, or certainly one of the best. I don't want to insult other guests or ourselves. And uh, he'll be on uh, the Late Show with David Letterman soon, which will be what number seven or number, number eight? Seven. Number seven. Wow, uh, which is impressive. And uh, other big news coming from uh, co-hosts. Uh, coming up with late nights, and it's it's just a big, exciting summer for uh, a lot of wait, great wait a comics that we love. We didn't even mention you're on fucking David Letterman. I last know, but night. we're gonna we're gonna talk about that, uh, and right. we're gonna talk about that in another one okay, because right. we, we we spend time here, and it's a whole thing. All right, but, I think uh, people tuned you in. You gotta to hear go about that. G- look up Joe's Letterman. Yes, on uh, online. Yes. Well, yeah, by the time this is out, I mean, hopefully It'll all be... of our listeners will have heard it. For God's sakes. Well, you never know. 
Maybe we'll have, hopefully we'll have new listeners coming in. Yeah. This may be the first one they hear after the show. There you go. Yeah. Perhaps they'll uh, Google us. But yeah, I just did uh, Letterman, which was exciting. And uh, we'll do another episode. We'll talk more about that. And, yeah. uh, and you know, email us, tweet at us, tweet at Tommy, at Tommy Jonigan. At Tommy Jonigan. There you go. And well, we haven't had a Chipotle in a while. Just yeah, saying. Yeah, a while. It kind of fell off there. We, we miss uh, the, the, the burritos. But uh, it's hard to do that now that we're doing audible.com. Oh. We're going to be reading these ads. I hope we're okay with that. I uh, think you would make, make more if you just had people send you Chipotle gift cards. <laughs> I think we're going to be doing Audible is going to be paying you. But uh, so yeah, thanks for listening. And uh, Tommy has two albums available right now, and a third a one. A third coming. one, June seventeenth. They're called uh, Stand Up Comedy, Stand Up Comedy Two, and Stand Up Comedy Three will be out June seventeenth. Yeah, and uh, often uh, we're on the road together quite a bit. Yeah. Yep, yep. Well, so Joe's uh, going to be a headliner everywhere. Hopefully. Uh, so that, and then uh, also I don't know if we mentioned this, but the last time we checked our email at Tuesdays with oh, Stories beautiful. at Gmail, and uh, you guys sent the nicest email. So thank you. Everybody who has sent an email, iTunes reviews, unbelievable. Unbelievable. Oh, wow. So kind. We feel like George Bailey's over here. Yeah. Never heard the show, but I hear good things. It's, <laughs> it's a fun I, didn't, I didn't even listen to this episode. Uh, <laughs> all right. We got to go. Thank you very much. Thank you, Stand Up New York, 78th yes. and Broadway, Stand Up New York, Tommy Jonigan, Mark Norman. I'm Joe List. And thank our producer. Great Googling and watering and miking. Do you have an outro audible? I don't think we do. No. Okay. All right, guys. I just wanted to cover it. I know it's the first show. <laughs> oh, boy. Audible.com backslash Tuesdays with stories. We love you. Thank you. Yo.